What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, the network. Today's topic is section 3.26, configure and verify network types, area types, and router types. We're gonna be breaking those sections down. Today, we're actually doing 3.26A, point-to-point, multi-point broadcast, and non-broadcast. This is a topic in the CCMP route exam, exam code 300-101 version 2.0. Um, I did. I was telling y'all that the last day to test for this is February 23rd. February 23rd. The new exams is when you can start taking them. You can start taking them on February 24th, 2020. So remember, last day to test is February 23rd. The new one starts on February 24th. Let's take a look at the. Uh, let's take a look at the exam blueprints again. Implementing Cisco IP routing. Exam code 300-101. I don't know the new exam codes yet, but nonetheless, this is the uh, version that we are going to be going over. I haven't even looked at the new stuff. Actually, the CCNA I did. I, I CCNA, CCNA one I did. Uh, I might be doing a series on that just to, you know, go back and see what's missing and stuff like that. And I like to go over the fundamentals again. Anyway, we just wrapped up authentication, OSPF authentication. Today, again, we are going to be configuring and verifying several types of networks. So these are the network types. Then we'll be going over the LSA types and stuff like that, internal uh, different router types, as well as the virtual link. Uh, we're going to do this one a little bit different today. We're not going to do a full lab. I'm just going to show you all, you know, the differences between these types of uh, OSPF networks and then just show you brief commands on how to set those up because I don't because you got to do frame relay and I don't feel like doing all that. I already got frame relay videos on this uh, on this channel. So if you want to know a little bit more of that, you can. Uh, Go back into the CCMP playlist. Anyway, so we got three types. Actually, I believe it's four types of OSPF um, OSPF uh, network types. There's point to point, as you can see there, point to point, multi point, broadcast, and non broadcast. First of all, let's go ahead and start out with the point to point networks and what the characteristics are. As you can see, a point to point is one point to one point. It's just, it's just there's no other you know, devices connected to this interface here or this network here. It's a default on frame relay point to point sub interfaces. As you can see there, it does not elect a DR BDR. Why is that? Well, first of all, what is a DR and what is a BDR? Well, a DR is a designated router. That's the router that has the link state database and everybody else in that network gets his information from the DR, the designated router. He's the one that hands out information for the link state database if necessary the bdr as you can guess is the backup designated router he is the one that starts handing out or is um he is the one that synchronizes the link uh link state database when the dr is down well why do they not elect that in the point-to-point -point network well there's only two so being that those two are the only routers on this network they are going to be synchronizing the link state database with each other so we don't need to elect a dr or a bdr that is the reason why there's only two routers there. It discovers neighbors dynamically, so it's not like it's done with uh, statically or whatever. It, it just finds the neighbor because it's directly connected to him anyway. The Henry, by default, this is default. The hello interval is 10 seconds. He says hello every 10 seconds to make sure he's alive, right? And then the dead timer by default is four times the hello, which in this case it's 40 seconds. So, and obviously 10 times. Four is 40. So that's when he considers the neighbor dead in 40 seconds. You can configure that with the command interface command IP OSPF network point to point. Matter of fact, let me show you right now in GNS3. I know, and that's what I meant by we're going to do this a little differently, and I'll show you a little verification command on how to do that. Let's take a look at the uh, topology real quick. So this is really a frame relay network. I didn't have any symbols to kind of show that. But anyways, we're going to work out a router one here. I got this from gns3volt.com. Shout out to, to Rene Molnar for that website. He's got all kinds of labs. If you want to study CCMP, CCNA, leave all the way up to CCIE. So anyways, we're going to go into him and configure a point-to-point uh, -point network. So this right here, we got router one and router two, just those two networks here, right? If we had some other routers connected on this interface, like some sub interfaces or whatever, we, we got some sub interfaces, but there's just, just two these two routers that are sitting on these these sub interfaces right here. So let's go into router one. We're gonna console into him. And uh, the host name is Salmon. These are all fish, by the way, but I didn't change the uh, the uh, labels. So, anyways, 
we're gonna go to let's look at the interfaces that are in, uh, installed on here so IP interface brief and he's got one uh, physical interface and we also have and it's not assigned though uh, we also have some sub interfaces there those are not assigned either though so we only got one active one uh, let's just make this guy the uh, one we're going to use to uh, communicate with router 2 and just change the network type to point to point even though it, you, you can see it's already a point to point so believe uh, OSPF is already configured on here yeah we have OSPF 1 right so we're going to go into global config mode and go to interface that guy no that was not it this guy this sub interface right here interface so we're in interface config mode and we said to set that up to be a point to point network even though it's frame relay we said we got to put in this command ip ospf network point to point right so ip ospf network and I'll show you the differences that's the ones we're going over right we've got point to point to specify an OSPF point to point network we'll go over the others actually we can go over them right now but I want to show y'all you know explain to y'all what they are before just showing you the command so network we're saying this is a point to point network point to point and now we set that interface up to be an OSPF point to point network and let's verify that with the command that we I, I was forgetting about in the last video show IP OSPF interface uh, that sub interface name which was serial double zero dot 201 and you can see that the network type is point to point we also see that OSPF is down right now it is the interface is also down down but nonetheless it is a point to point network and also notice the hello and dead intervals we have 10 for the hello and uh, 40 for the dead timer and that's how you set up a point-to-point -point network move right along we have point to multi-point this does not elect a DR BDR as well so same thing we only have one we're, there's just gonna be a it's, ba it's, it's basically a point to multi-point but we're not electing a DR or a BDR because it's just one point so um, we don't need to des uh, define a designated router to uh, synchronize our link state database with. Uh, dynamic neighbor discovery as well. The default intervals are 30 and 120, and that's the command IP OSPF network multi point to multi point. I really should. This is a frame relay network, as I mentioned before. I don't have any DLCs or anything installed on here, so or uh, uh, com uh, configured on here. So let's uh, we'll just we'll just experiment with the command. I'm not gonna fully, you know, get into all of that today. Let's uh, let's just get into that command. So we're just gonna say that that's we're just gonna change the network type on this guy. We're gonna go to global config mode, interface serial. Double zero dot two oh one again it's IP OSPF network and we're saying point to multi point and now if we uh, run that show command to verify that information we'll also check the uh, the uh, which one who is the designated router and stuff like that it, because it says that it's not supposed to but we'll see what it what it says about that show IP OSPF interface serial double zero dot 201 and as you can see we changed the network type to point to multi-point and also the d hello and dead timers changed so 30 seconds it says hello and then it's three four times the hello so in this case th th 30 times four is 120 and that's when he considers the neighbor dead if i haven't heard from my neighbor in 120 seconds i'm gonna consider him dead even though OSPF is not up. We don't believe we have an OSPF neighbor. Show IP, OSPF neighbors. Yeah, so we have OSPF in, uh, installed or configured on this router, but the neighbor is not up. So that's why he's, he, he, the state is down right now. I haven't fully configured this lab. I just wanted to show you all these commands and how to change the network types. Next is point to multi-point non-broadcast. Notice this is similar to the topology we have in GNS3. It's just that I have not set up the... Uh, 
the frame relay network and these delsies and all of that like i said i, I didn't really want to get into all that today if you want to get in frame relay i have a whole i have a whole set of videos from the earlier bullet points in the ccmp playlist go ahead and go on my channel and check that out it's similar to point to multi-point neighbors are also not discovered dynamically the intervals are 31 20 so same thing as point to multi uh point to multi-point this is point to multi-point non-broadcast so you're not broadcasting for uh for neighbors because the delsies are um are mapped manually you're statically doing that right so 201 to 102 and 102 to 201 again if you want to know more about frame relay i have separate videos on that we set this the ospf network type to uh using this command so let's go ahead and do that and check uh and then verify the uh verify that so we're going to go back to global config mode. So same thing here. We're just doing the same thing. We're just going to change this to instead of point to multi-point. Yeah, we did that point to multi-point. There's also one more keyword we can put in. So uh, we need to go to global config mode. So interface serial double zero dot 201. And we're going to say IP OSPF point. I'm sorry, uh, network point to multi-point and then as you can see you can put the non-broadcast keyword at the end of it that specifies non-broadcast point to point, multi-point network so we put non there we change that we can verify that we should do show ip ospf uh interface serial double zero dot 201 and as you can see we change the network type to point to multi-point the state is down still and our intervals are hello uh, for 30 seconds for the hello timer and uh, 120 seconds for the dead timer. Let's also check out the, uh, what else do we want to check out? We know we don't have an OSPF neighbor, but let's check out information on the uh, link state database. Um, show IP, well, actually, let's just do show IP OSPF and see information about the database, a DR and a BDR. That's not what we do that at. We do that at show. This is why you really need to know your show commands because you'll be fumbling through menus like me. Um, let's see here. Uh, not the neighbor list. How do you find out? I believe it's just database, right? Yeah, I guess we could just do database to find out information on the link state database. So we'll find out who the, who the, uh, who the designated router in the BDR is, which there shouldn't be one. Uh, we got OSPF ID here. It's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be interface. It should be interface. Traffic might be it. Traffic. Show IP OSPF traffic. Nah, that ain't it either. I'm just trying to find out who uh, the DR and the BDR is, which there's not going to be one elected in a point to multi point non broadcast network. We're going to do with broadcast network next, and we're just going to wrap this up. Show IP OSPF SA interface serial double zero dot 201. I believe that's where you would be. Well, let's see this. We know, we know, let's move on real quick. Finally, we're going to move on to broadcast. We know what a broadcast type of network is, right? You're sending one signal and it's going to go to, uh, is you, you're sending one signal, but it's going to go to uh, everybody on, on that network. So it's default for local area networks. It dynamically discovers neighbors and it uses DR and BDR. So we should be able to check to see if there's a designated router here. And uh, the intervals are 10 and 40. So 10 for the hello second, the hello interval, 40 for the dead timer. And we, uh, uh, we configure it by using this command ipospf network broadcast which is simple enough so let's go ahead and do that real quick we're just going to go back into the same interface and then say interface serial double zero dot 201 my bad not 204 double zero dot 201 and then ipospf network we're changing it to broadcast right enter and then we're going to do a sh let's get out of this and say show ip ospf we're going to say show ip ospf interface serial double zero dot 201 and you can see ospf is down the hellos changed to 10 seconds dead timer changed to 40 seconds 
Now, I wanted to see information about the DR and the BDR. That's what we wanted to check. Show IP OSPF. It's not going to be neighbors. We don't have no neighbors. Maybe if I set up OSPF on the other guy. Let's just set up OSPF on the... Uh, no, that's the frame relay network router. We don't want to do that. Huh. I think it would be here, but we don't. We just don't have a designated router at this point. He don't have any neighbors. So that's something I, I, I will experiment with to let y'all know why we don't show it. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's we don't have, because we don't have any OSPF neighbors right now. That's why we don't have a designated router. I'm going to double check that and put it in the notes below. That's all I got for y'all today. Uh, that is my YouTube channel, Network Bro. That is my Twitter handle. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video on your social media networks. Thank you for watching the network.